In the following video, notice what we can learn about Jehovah's timing from the way he designed bees and cicadas to behave. If you heard a buzzing noise recently, there's a good chance you were in close proximity to one of these little critters, bees. There are other things that buzz, such as beard trimmers and some adult toys, but none of these will give you honey. Honey is delicious and can be eaten on toast with Greek yogurt or mixed with hot lemon and whiskey to make a nice hot toddy. But the bees make honey not for us humans, but as a clever way to store their favorite food, nectar, in a way that stops it fermenting and turning all gross and disgusting. We just come along and steal it from them. And that is how the honeybee do. Cicadas, on the other hand, do not make honey, but they do make a buzzing noise, as people living in parts of eastern North America will attest. The trouble is, unlike bees, which look kind of fluffy and adorable, cicadas look disgusting. It's true they do have an impressive lifespan of up to 17 years, which is among the longest of any insect. But the vast majority of this time is spent living as nymphs underground, ingesting liquid sucked from plant roots. Which is frankly where I would want to be if I looked anything like them. So I guess the gist of what I'm saying is that honeybees are awesome, whereas cicadas are hideous. Also hideous are hateful doomsday ideologies that preach death and destruction to all who think, love or live differently to the believer. Cult followers individually are often lovely, a bit like beautiful bees, but the vile bigoted teachings they've been indoctrinated with, often from birth, are like an infestation that belongs as deep underground as possible. Anyway, let's close with a random Bible verse. Therefore, the way I am running is not aimlessly, the way I am aiming my bowels is so as not to be striking the air. We've just been watching a video from the Friday afternoon session of the Jehovah's Witness Exercise Patience Convention that's been slightly edited <laughs> to make it more interesting. This particular talk that the video accompanies has the theme, What Creation Can Teach Us About Jehovah's Timing Insects. It's actually presented on this occasion by Brandon French, from the Wallkill, New York, Bethel facility. Again, I took the liberty of redubbing the video because the original was just tedious, quite frankly. For the purpose of journalistic integrity, I will read you the original script from the video that I erased and talked over. Bees work hard and they have a lot to do. How do bees and other insects get their work done on time? Honeybees are adaptable. They organize their foraging to save time and energy and to visit flowers when they have plenty of nectar and pollen. The bees' timing works out for all involved. Plants get pollinated and the bees make honey. This is the sound of cicadas in eastern North America. This variety develops underground for 17 years. Right on time, they emerge by the billions. They'll have just a few weeks to shed their skin and finish the most important work of their life, to find a mate and lay their eggs. Whether with an adaptable routine like the honeybee or a fixed one like the cicada, insects instinctively accomplish their work on time. We have an important work to do and a limited time to do it. With a regular schedule and by adapting it as needed, we can make wise use of our time. Therefore, the way I am running is not aimlessly the way I am aiming my... Oh, it was blows, sorry. <laughs> is so as not to be striking the air. So, it's a video about bees and cicadas. And they've somehow managed to find a way to spin it in such a way as to remind Jehovah's Witnesses that they should be busy warning people that the world is about to end.